Hi, it's Cheryl Harris with Cheryl Harris Enterprises and She Knows. Thank you so much for stopping by my video blog today. Today, I am honoring National Stress Awareness Month. And every Wednesday of the month of April going forward, I will offer you some tips, tools, and strategies that can contribute to enhancing and empowering your mind, your body, and your spirit. My goal is to guide you and help you um, get total transformation in your mind, body, and spirit. So this month, I am going to celebrate with the nation because it is stress, National Stress Awareness Month. And I'm also going to share with you some of my personal struggles that I had and also give you some tips today in this video that will help you, um, hopefully help you overcome some of the challenges that you're having. So I want to get right into it. First of all, I'm Cheryl Harris. I'm your health, wellness, fitness, and lifestyle expert. And just very quickly, if you'd like to become a part of my exclusive notification list where only my exclusive members receive notification before the public, just go ahead and enter name and email at www.profoundtouch.com and you also get a free gift while you're there too as well. All right, today I want to share with you, I'm going to be very personable with you today and share some things that you may not know about me. I actually suffered, and this was not too long ago, I suffered from a number of ailments that could have actually wiped me out. And just so that you all know, stress is the number one killer in the world, the number one killer in the world. And we get stressed out about a lot of things we have absolutely no control over. So I had to learn different ways and different modalities to incorporate into my lifestyle so that I wouldn't become stressed because I to, first of all, I had to realize who I am and whose I am. You know, I am a child of God and I serve a God of no lack. So it is important that you know who you are and whose you are so that the weight of the world and the woes of the world and other people and other things will not become your giant. I actually allowed my circumstances and my issues to become my giant and so that overtook a lot of things in my life. It, it actually um, challenged me and uh, my well-being. I, I suffered from migraines. I suffered from mild depression. Um, well, I don't know how mild it is. Depression is depression. Um, I suffered from panic attacks, shortness of breath. Um, I said migraines already. Uh, emotional eating. Um, there were a lot of things, you know, um, lack of self-confidence sometimes, believe it or not. But that's neither here nor there because none of that stuff exists. And I'll give you the tips that I currently use right now to this day that helps me overcome those things that I named. Number one, prayer. The number one thing that I use a lot, you know, prayer works. And the thing is, if you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. And you guys have heard that before. When you pray, it's okay to ask God questions. You know, it's not like you're questioning him. You're asking him questions and you are receiving, you're looking to receive answers from the creator of everything and the all knowing of everything. So ask God questions like, who do I, who should I connect with in order to get my health and my well-being in order, in alignment? Who should I connect with? Who should I, you know, be able to help or serve so that I can move forward in my own personal purpose? You know, there, it's okay to ask God, but here's my thing with you, and I'm going to charge you. Don't come in when you're asking for help, you know, with other people. And if God say, hey, this is the person I want you to go to, don't come in with your hands out saying, gimme, gimme, gimme. You know, come in with an open heart, open mind, and be able to offer. You know, don't be a sucker. You know, don't pull on people and suck on them dry and just, you know, you want free workouts. You want a free massage. You want free advice. You know, there's a price paid for everything that anybody that you're going to approach and that you are going to ask for help. Be ready to invest into yourself. Self-care is not about being selfish. Self-care is about taking care of yourself as well as you take care of others. Some of you all put yourself on the back burner to take care of other people. And you actually have to take care of yourself. And that was one of my issues. You know, you were doing, I was doing everything else for everybody else except me. Start making yourself a priority. Okay. So prayer was the number one thing. And just ask the right questions. You're only one season away from where you need to be just by asking the right questions to the universe, to God. Number two, I meditate. Meditate 
is a sense of calmness and quieting of the mind. It actually quiets life's noise. A lot of times we are all over the place. We need to get somewhere and sit down. Be still for a moment. Be still and know that I am God. Not me personally, but that's what the word says. <laughs> Be still. You know, that's the time where you hear from God. Prayer is when you're talking to God. Meditation is when you hear the answer from God. So you want to actually be still so that you can get direction. You can get instructions. You can become spiritually aligned. You can become, you know, you can establish joy, love, peace, happiness. All the things have already been paid a price for you. It's already been paid for you. You know, it's free to you, but it's already been paid for. So prayer, meditation. And the third thing I want to talk to you about is connect with people that are trying to go, that are where you're trying to go. So if you see somebody that you know, begin to develop a relationship with them. You know, don't, don't, you know, start coming to them and sending them messages saying, hey, look, I want you to, you know, check this out and, you know, uh, um, let your people know what this is about, this, that, and the third. You know, you start soliciting and, and, and trying to advertise. And you guys get what I'm saying. Be there. What do you have to bring to the table to the person of whom you're trying to be like? Or image after you don't necessarily have to be like them you're going to be because you're going to be yourself and the last thing i want to tell you about is i want you to be authentic with you in order to get past all of these issues and struggles that you're having you got to get to the core issue of a lot of things that we are not facing the reason why we are stressed depressed anxiety attacks migraines panic attacks worried about this that and the third is because we're not facing the core issues Face those giants head on, get the necessary help, pray, and meditate. I hope those help. I hope you guys like those tips. If you do, if you like those tips, if they were helpful for you, if they were helpful for you, make a comment below. Share your issues that you are struggling with and let us know how you were able to overcome it. So if you are interested in any of my programs that I have that will actually help you jumpstart or continue to enhance and empower total transformation in your mind, body, and spirit. Put your name in the email box or email me. <laughs> you can email me at Cheryl at ProfoundTouch.com or you can go to www.ProfoundTouch.com. And also, I'm everywhere, so go to Facebook and like my page at Cheryl Harris Enterprises. She knows Twitter. She knows Instagram. She knows lifestyle. All right? Thank you all so much. I appreciate your time. I want you to be well. Be blessed, be fit, and be fab. Remember, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can overcome it, you can too. Be encouraged and take care, everybody. Take care of yourself, okay?